Good afternoon, everybody on Educated Economist here. So I thought I'd give you guys a lumber update video, talk a little bit about lumber. Now we are seeing lumber future prices at 583 per thousand. Holy moly, this is a dramatic drop from its all time high of 1700 per thousand. And a lot of people wanted to point at lumber back when it was running up that high saying, look at all the inflation, money printer go burr and prices go up and all you have to do is just look at lumber and that's all the indicator you need. And I said it back then, nope, lumber prices are going to come back down to a somewhat normal price. And I would feel that that normal price is somewhere around 500 to 600 per thousand up to around 800 per thousand. Anything below 500 per thousand and the mills will go into curtailment. Anything above that and you're going to find, well, anything above 800 per thousand, you're going to find that the mills are going to pump out as much as they can. And we're going to go into an oversupply, undersupply, oversupply until we find that equilibrium. And this is something that I said was going to take place throughout the rest of the economy. And we're really starting to see it in a lot of different areas. But when we go and look at lumber right now, there's going to be a lot of excuses. You're going to find like the news articles coming out saying how it's the builder sentiment that's dropping the lumber prices and how it's like the lack of building taking place that has caused the lumber prices to drop as much as they have. That's not the case. Just go and look at the... Go and look at the charts that I leave down in the description for you guys. There's an article down there, and then there's also two charts coming from the Federal Reserve. And those two charts are showing housing starts and housing by permit. And over the last five years, there has never been a time that there was more housing starts and permits being issued than there is right now. And that's really like the thing that you have to look at. Would lumber prices be as low as they are right now? coming off of such high demand that we have over the last just even few months when you look at building permits and building starts that have been taking place. It really doesn't make any reason to see lumber futures as low as they are right now. The real reason why we're seeing lumber futures as low as they are right now is because of the oversupplying that took place just a few months ago. And it's something that I said was going to happen. I mean, it's, it's the bullwhip effect. It's very difficult for the manufacturers to see exactly how much demand there really is within the system. All there has to be is just a little bit of supply chain constraint or shortages or just some kind of disruption and it'll cause panic to start taking place. And all of a sudden, if you can't get a particular item, you will order either more of it or you will panic buy and pay as much as you can for it in order to get that product, especially when it comes to deadlines and builders who are like in an inelastic demand, like they have no other choice. If they are going to continue on with this product or project, they need to buy the product at any price that's available. And that's really what you see taking place. Now, it's kind of interesting because a lot of people also still want to use the excuse of the pandemic causing the prices to go up on the lumber up to that 1700 per thousand. And I, I mean, I was even talking with a really nice guy yesterday who works at a mill who, uh, who did know quite a bit about like, you know, the issues that had taken place with everybody being locked down and the mills being locked down. And then all of a sudden the stimulus checks coming out and zapping the rest of the inventory as everybody ran down to the, to the lumber yard to start building decks and fences and raise garden beds and doing all that kind of stuff. But he didn't really know much about the 2019 curtailments that had happened within the lumber industry because that was the real reason why we saw so much shortages taking place. It didn't have anything to do with the pandemic in the beginning, like it started off in 2019, actually it started off at the end of 2018 with the mill curtailments that had started taking place up in the British Columbia area. Now that was the real reason why we saw so much shortages in the lumber industry and the prices run up to 1700 per thousand. It's because there was a bug infestation up there that had killed off a lot of trees and the government went into what they called salvage mode in order to take advantage of the dead trees that were there. It was either let them rot or be a fire hazard or you cut them down and mill them up. And so they chose to do that. And the way they were able to increase the cutting of these trees was to drop the stumpage fee, which is the fee that the loggers pay and to the government in order to cut these trees, which ends up equating into an input cost going to the mills. So all these British Columbia mills back all the way up until 2018 for, for years were able to cut a lot more trees than what they would typically do. And they milled these things up and sent them down into the United States. Well, at the end of 2018, we had seen lumber prices run up to 650 per thousand. And all of a sudden that salvage mode come to an end. At the same time, the prices have plummeted. 
all the way down to like it was one of the worst drops in history at the time before the holds run up to 1700 but it was one of the worst drops in history in lumber futures back then in 2018 it went from like 650 all the way down to like the 300 per thousand and Brit these british columbia mills all started shutting down like there was like reports and curtailments and like just chaos going on up there with these mills and i was reporting on that all throughout 2019 talking about how these you know places like 100 mile up there didn't have anything else like the people got laid off and lost their jobs up there either logging or at the mills or you know part of the forest industry in one way or the other they had nothing left there was nothing left for them to do and so it just pretty much shut that entire area down and so that just bled all the way up until 2019 even then i was reporting on osb manufacturers closing well shutting down hundreds of board feet of production hundreds of square feet hundreds of billions of square feet there we go hundreds of billions of square feet of production being pulled off the market from like a couple of different mills and i'll leave a link down in the description to that video that one was really interesting because just shortly later you know we had osb like completely gone from the market and we had like plywood prices running up to 800 or 800 80 dollars per sheet and that was just like incredible considering that typically they would sell for like 20 dollars a sheet well i still haven't seen osb come to the market yet like there's units that you can buy but it's more expensive than the cdx that we order so we sell cdx which is actual plywood and osb which is like the chips that they use to glue together to make a four by eight sheet i guess i should have explained that a little bit better like osb and plywood that's the sheathing that goes on a building like you got the skeleton all the two by fours two by sixes and then you have the sheathing that goes on the outside that's like the skin before all the doors window siding goes in and this critical component to the building industry just came up in like just not even short supply like just vanished from supply there was absolutely none to be had and that's when the plywood prices just shot through the roof. Well, we knew that there was going to be a plywood shortage. If you have OSB being pulled off the market at hundreds of billions of square feet at a time, I, I mean, you just know that there was going to be there was going to be mass shortages of it. And that's exactly what had taken place. So as you hear the news out there that these lumber prices have dropped on account of the builder sentiment dropping, don't 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 necessarily believe that that's not the case there was mill over supplying taking place long before the the builder sentiment started to drop and just go and look at the permit and the starts that have taken place there's a lot more happening now than there ever was the prices for lumber should be much higher if there was inflation to be the cause then we would have we've never seen lumber prices come back down at this point so what it is it's overproduction underproduction overproduction just like i've always said it's the bullwhip effect all right, uneducated economist, you guys let me know.